We love a reunion at Sky F1, don't we, Crofty? We do. Therefore, we're having one. In fact, five years ago, almost to the day, we stood here with these three. They were fresh out of nappies. They just <laughs> had Lando. Yeah. Exactly. They just had their, their first Grand Prix. Five years older, any wiser? How do you say? Definitely not. No. <laughs> Are you not? I am. Actually, George isn't. Uh, I would say. Uh... Lan you, you're not wiser. No, Lando, <laughs> I think you've, wiser. I think you've regressed. I think you, you're, out of the three of us, the one who has matured the less. No, progressed the most aesthetically. Yeah, he's growing a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm still trying and, you know, failing <laughs> a bit. I had yeah. a shave just before. Yeah, you got, you got some proper hair. I look nice manly of everyone here. Yeah. yeah, I think you do. You know what's crazy is his legs aren't hairy. No? You, th you, think you, you think you'd be, be hairy, but it's, it's not there. Uh, so here we are again, uh, Crofty. Let's explain the rules for today's um, competition, if we can call it that. Well, we thought we'd test you out on the track because that's yeah. what you were designed to we do. We haven't done that at all. You haven't done that ever. <laughs> we, we want to, well, we know how fast you were five years ago. Yeah, yeah. So who feels the need for speed the most five years on? Well, it was Alex that did the talking on the racetrack last time. Was he it? was the winner. Oh, I won. Yeah. Yeah. Can, yeah. yeah. can you remember that? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> that was it. So there we go. One lap qualified, five lap race. Best of luck, lads. Thank Let's you go. Much. Round two. Good luck, good Let's luck. do it. Go, 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 go. Let's go, lap no. One out lap, one time lap, one in lap. That's all they've got on the track before the race tonight. Here comes Alex Albon over the start finish line to start his qualifying lap. Lando ahead of George. Is George trying to pick up a slipstream? Alex Albon already way off into the distance on his qualifying lap. Heavy braking zone now into the left-hander. Little bit unsteady on the rear, but that's beautiful and fast from Alex Albon. Squealing of tyres. Looks like Lando and George are having a race already. But who's on pole? Lando Norris! As George Russell almost wipes out his opponent before the race starts. It's Lando ahead of George, ahead of Alex on the grid. First, no, I was first. second. Third, but there was nothing in it. There was I nothing in it. I was first. You, you, he was first. Uh, Alex did a 150. I was first. Yeah, but it I doesn't matter. Him. Who did that? You did a 115, and the others were 116. I think. Six. Well, this is completely crazy. We need a steward's inquiry to this. It's ridiculous. I just checked. I just checked with race control. Can you confirm, sir, who was Norris, first, second, third? Norris first. I was right. I did keep an eye. Norris first, then Russell second, <laughs> then Alex third. I never took him. I know, but, you know, he, that, yeah, yeah. I never took him. I never took him. Well, George, mate. The timing screen doesn't lie, George. So uh, whilst the arguing you know continues behind quicker. me, it was, I can confirm, Lando Norris on pole position. Behind him, George Russell, despite his process stations, he's nearly, he nearly got disqualified there with Alex in third. This is a five-lap race. It will begin when Crofty uh, announces the, the immortal words. Lights out and away we go. As only he can do. And it's lights out and away they've gone. <laughs> Oh, I've got no power. This is a joke. I got you, Alex. Oh, that is beautiful. Lando might have jumped the start, but he ends lap one in third place. Alex leads George, leads Lando. Totally ignoring track limits. Alex Helmont goes into the left hander in the lead, comes out in last. This has been an excellent lap for George Russell. Look at his lead as he crosses the line. Oh, I've got a shocking engine in the back of mine. Halfway through the race, and George Russell's got this totally in control. Once again, ignoring track limits. They'll be in Saudi Arabia if they go any wider. But he's not catching George Russell, who's flying out in front. It's lonely at the back. One more lap to go. Who can stop the man from Kings Lynn? At the moment, not Alex Orlando. George Russell <laughs> in the lead, or is he? Lando Norris. <laughs> Swoops through on the inside. FIA did not see that. George Russell all over the back of Lando Norris. This is going to be a fight right to the line. Alex Albon almost collects the barrier. Oh, and down the inside goes Albon. <laughs> oh, Alex Albon goes June bashing. There's three of them in a line together. Lando Norris wins from George Russell and Alex Albon.
What a last lap that was. Wow, that was thrilling. What an end. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what were you doing? <laughs> They're still, still bickering. Um, or, or, as I said, all I can say, a bunch of colossal cheats. <laughs> well, I want to know why well, I... Because, number one, you <laughs> argued with us. Yes, that is to true. Start with. Never argue with them. However, yeah. what we will say is it finished as it started, so um, you're the winner. That's a great... For what you did worth, a great overtake of that slap. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're now all established drivers. Can you believe it? I mean, when we stood here five years ago, as I said, fresh face, you've all grown into your faces now. Yeah. <laughs> and it feels like you're here to stay. Um, do you feel like that now, George? Yeah, I, I mean, I still feel like the same guy I did five years ago. And I think, you know, the relationship the three of us have and the relationship with the other drivers, I don't know how it is for you, but it doesn't feel like anything's changed. We still feel like... I mean, I'm 26 now, but I don't feel 26. I still feel like a young kid in Formula One and still got a long way to go. But yeah, it's crazy to think this is our sixth season together. Do you feel, though, more pressure when you come to a racetrack as, as established Formula One drivers who are, who are expected to deliver for their teams to the utmost of their ability every single minute of the day? It's less nerve. I think different. Uh, different. The first year was way more nerve wracking. Yeah. First year was I a lot more so. nerve wracking. Yeah. Um, but I think there's a different pressure now that. We are, well, I would, apart from George, the more established drivers in the, in the pairing of teammates. Um, so you're, you feel like just a bit more responsibility of you, you're there to deliver for the whole team. Um, so I think that pressure is definitely more, but the pressure of just walking into the paddock every day, like it feels more normal. It feels like, you know, home, it just feels like another day at work, but it's so cool. And, you know, the fact you can't, like, I, I would never call it a job because it's something I've always loved to do, you know, but, they're still precious because there's a lot of people watching and you want to deliver for everyone who's building the cars, designing the cars and all those things. But um, we're still three of us having a laugh and having a good time and enjoying our lives. But you, you talk about well, there's pressure every year. We, 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 we're constantly aware there's pressure every year. But if we flip it into opportunity for this year, you've, got, you've all got huge ones. How are you feeling about knowing that potentially you're going to be the team leader uh, the year after this? Yeah, I'm not really thinking about it, to be honest. I think, um, you know, when I came into Mercedes, I recognised, you know, going against probably the greatest driver of all time. He's been there for so many years, even though there was so much respect from the team towards me. If I'd been in the team for 10 years and won you know, seven of those championships uh, and all the race victories that he's won, you're not going to expect a 23-year-old to have the same amount of respect within as, as you would have. But, um, you know, now it's my third year going into my fourth year next year with Mercedes. Excitement, really, but it doesn't really matter who's alongside me in, in that team because we want to fight, all of us, we want to fight for victories. Yeah. And uh, we want to prove ourselves. We all believe we're the, the best driver out there on the, on the grid. And you just want a chance to, to prove that. And it's, Formula One's a tricky sport. You know, Mercedes, when I had that opportunity in 2020, it was you know, straight in and fighting for victories. Whereas now, if we get half a chance of, of victory, maybe yeah. for one race out of 24, you know, that's, that's a huge opportunity. What do you fear about the future? Tough question. I wouldn't say that many things. I think uh, you say the youngsters coming in, <laughs> uh, which is weird to say, but although I like nothing, I think it's just there's still so many opportunities, so many things to look forward to. And when you look at, you know, Fernando and, and Lewis, they've done you know, almost 20 years, mm. over, over 20 years in, in Formula One only, um, and almost their whole lives in the sport. And I would like, that's what I, I think of. That's my ambition is to, to keep going until you get to the age that they are, which is, I like almost double my age, so uh, <laughs> I got plenty of years. I just hope I got plenty of years to go, and I'm still enjoying it. I'm still loving it. Um, we obviously all want to fight for more wins and victories and championships. You've just signed an extension to your contract, so you're at McLaren for the time being, going into your sixth year. Alex, you're now. It feels like you've, you get, you've stepped back into where, where George was, and you, you're seat. kind of dom dominating <laughs> him within Williams. Can you see a time where potentially you two? Are together in the same team, or any of you? Like next year. Yeah, I think George can come to Williams, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> he can be my teammate. Yeah, uh, fast. Yeah, exactly. so, George just says, Alec, everyone's fast." Exactly, yeah. exactly. Maybe they're just slow. <laughs> no, um, let's see. You know, I'm I'm happy where I am. I think uh, George knows the, the 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 environment that we have at Williams. It's great. It's um, it's hungry. It's ambitious. And I think um, more than when when George was there, we're really on a upwards trajectory. I don't think it was really the case where when, when George was driving there was the odd race here and there but we are we are genuinely you know making big strides and um, I'm not sure how this year is going to fare. I think we're going to struggle a little bit at the beginning and we'll, we'll pick our feet up um, through the season but um, that's my main 
focus right now. Would you welcome another go at Max Verstappen, should that uh, opportunity arise? <laughs> say it wasn't to me, George. Uh, I mean, that's very uh, hypothetical. Uh, <laughs> I would say I'm, I'm focused on this year. And really speaking, um, it's all that really matters. If, if you actually think about what we do, our performance in the present is all that matters. So I put my head down, I'm, I'm focused at Williams, my job is at Williams. Um, what well, I'm saying that, now, now we know Alex and George are going to be teammates in the future, that's sure. a good bombshell, <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. You've cozied up to Max really well, I think, in the last 12 months. You know, you've become really good mates, you've invited him into the, the, the paddle uh, trio yeah, as let's well. Let's him pass when he's behind that uh, Lando on track. Absolutely. That's because he's about second lap, it's <laughs> stupid to do otherwise. Could you see yourself as a teammate with Max? Would you want uh, to be a teammate I would love to be. Max? I would love to be. I really welcome, uh, asked him if he wants to come to McLaren. Yeah. For some reason he said no. Um, but I think anyone, everyone would. Um, mainly just to be in the seat next to him, because then you can <laughs> compete for, for higher positions. But um, you know, he's written his story with, with Red Bull. He joined Red Bull. Um, he's kind of created his story with them. And I would love to be able to do a similar thing with McLaren. Do I, you know, if I was to go into the second seat at Red Bull, would I achieve better things at an earlier point than where I am now. Probably, you know, if I was to go there now, could I score more podiums and wins probably at a sooner rate? Yes, but um, in the long term, is it better, I think, to try and achieve what I want to achieve with McLaren is, is also yes, which was which was why I've signed so early. I didn't need to, I did not need to sign for another two years. So there was no pressure and it was obvious with so many contracts running out of the next couple of years that things were going to start to get chaotic and they already have. So I, I could wait and there was opportunities already to, to, to go for, but. Um, I was very happy and I'm confident in what I've done. See, I love that because I think, I think we have three drivers here who aren't, I'm going to piggyback on the coattails of someone else. I'm going to lead my team and in the case of Mercedes, you want to drag them back to their former glories. In the case of McLaren, you want to do the same and you want to do the same at Williams too. And the, well, the three boys that we saw five years ago have now turned into to leaders on the track and off it. I love that. Final question to finish with. When we come back in five years and do this again, is one of you going to be world champion? Oh, oi, oi, oi. I so say you yes. You probably so... wouldn't come back if one of you were. <laughs> <laughs> so world champions don't You're just going to say yes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think um, I think the, the challenge in Formula One is there's so many great drivers who all have the potential if they're in the right car at the right time, and um, nobody can predict what's going to come in you know, the, the new set of, of regs. But I say hopes for this season is definitely fighting for for some victories and. Um, you know, it already seems like, unfortunately, Red Bull are well out, Shh, out front. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we won't spoil it now. <laughs> don't spoil it now. I Williams think. are well out front. Williams, <laughs> Williams are between flying. Red Bull and Williams. <laughs> I'm okay. Bold Depends predictions. I'm going to say Red Bull won't win every race. Okay. I reckon. That's the bold prediction. A, I reckon <laughs> a Mercedes and a McLaren will win a race wow. this year, and I'm going to say Williams on the podium. Yeah. Brilliant. What race? I'll go Monza. Boring. <laughs> predictable. <laughs> predictable. 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 And Lando, we spoke before testing. You said you're going to win a race in 2024. Now you've had testing. That was what the truth, wasn't it? <laughs> um, now he's had testing. He's going to win two races. In no. Uh, no, I will. I think we can. I think we can. Um, have we taken a step forward to last year? I, I think we have. Uh, in some areas, but not. Oh, we can, we can do it. If one of you are world champion in the next five years, you won't be too big for your boots to come back and see me and Crofty do it all again, yeah? Yeah. We'll always deal. be here. Yeah. Keep it real. Lovely. Keep it well, real. Best luck for the season. Thank Cheers, you. Thank you. Good luck, mate. Thanks, Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Cheers, guys.